Hi guys. Good evening. How Hi. are you? Good evening. How are you today? Pretty good. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. That's great. How was your day? Tomorrow is Friday. Great. Hey. Yeah. And that's my day off. I don't work. I, I don't use work Saturday. <laughs> oh, you used to uh, rest on Saturday. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Actually, guys, today we are going to try to complete the mid term, right? Yesterday, we were practicing uh, some expressions. We were expressing wishes, okay? We were expressing wishes and we had some combination of sentences. Like, for example, what is the combination of a, um, let's see, simple present. What's the combination for simple present structure? If you want to express wishes. Is wish plus simple past. Wish plus simple past. Excellent. What is the combination of a verb to be? Verb uh, wish and where or weren't. Wish, where, or weren't. Okay. So keep in mind the combination for simple present is wish plus simple past. The combination of verb to be is wish plus where or weren't. Thank you. And what is the combination of a can't? Can't. Wish mm -hmm. plus could. Wish plus could. Great. And what is the combination of simple future? Wish plus one. Okay, one by one, porque se escuchó un solo desorden. Raise your hands. Wish plus would or would. Would or wouldn't. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see. Since you have since you have the, the image related to expressing wishes, what I want you to do, guys, is to uh, provide the situation. Student A is going to provide the situation and student B is going to express the wish. Is that clear? Clear. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. And Andrea says, good evening. I'm not in I'm not in my house. I will not be able to activate my camera for this class. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Vicente and Evelyn. Vicente yes, is going to express. The sit uh, is going to tell the situation and Evelyn is going to express the wish. Okay. Uh, uh, beginning with uh, what what we can or simple press or you are going uh -huh. to you decide what to, ah, okay. what to use. Okay, uh, we're gonna use simple press and no, don't tell her. Uh, you don't need to tell ah, her. Okay. She needs to identify the oh, the, okay. the structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. The situation is, I don't have a pretty house. Mm -hmm. That is the situation. Okay, Evelyn. Okay, uh, let's let's select somebody else. Edwin, what would be your wish for that situation? Uh, 
Oh, May I repeat? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to repeat it. Mm -hmm. I don't have a pretty house. I don't have a pretty house. That's the situation. What's your wish? Um, I wish I had a pretty house. Okay, thank you, Evelyn, for letting me know. One more time, I'm sorry. I wish I had a pretty house. Have or had? Had, sorry, had. Okay, thank you. Now, Elgwin, eh, tell us the situation. And Carlos is going to eh, express the wish, okay? Thank you, sir. And by the way, Jennifer, Andrea, turn the cameras on. Just in case you're having issues, Oscar as well. In case you're having issues, let me know. Aha, uh -huh. Edwin, tell the situation and select who is going to say mm -hmm. or express the wish. I, I have a red car. One more situation. time. I have, I have a red car. Mm -hmm. I have a red car. Okay. Uh, I I wish I had a, a a green a green car. I wish I had a green car. Okay, Carlos, say the situation and select who is going to express the wish. Okay, Ana Sonia. Okay. 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 The situation is I don't have enough free time to relax. I don't have enough free time to relax. Okay. Before to continue, okay. before to continue, you are just using simple present structures. You need to mix them. Okay. Uh huh. You just, uh, you don't need to say that you are going to use simple present, simple future, can't, okay. or a uh, bird to be. You just say the situation and, and the person is going to express the wish. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will okay. change. The, All right, the... thank you. What will be your situation first? Okay. okay. She has to work on weekends. Okay. She has to work on weekends. That's okay. the situation. Okay. Um, the wish will be she wish uh, she had not to work on weekend. No. She no, okay. I uh, she she wish okay. Let's do it. Uh, let's she, do it in she, first person, Carlos. Let's do it in first person. Okay. I okay. have I had I to have work to on work on weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish I had uh, doesn't work on weekend. No. Okay. You are mixing everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. to work on weekend. No. Mm -mm. What is the negative for for the simple past? She hasn't. No, don't invent. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. I wish I had. No. Uh, no, because I did. Uh, he did. He did. He say, I I have to work on weekend. Uh huh. I had. I wish I had. No. No. Mm -mm. What is my mistake? Excuse me. I wish I didn't have to work on weekends. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Peter, uh, yeah. also can can we use uh, I wish I hadn't worked on weekends? I wish I hadn't worked on weekends, yes. It's correct. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Anna Sonia, tell okay. us the situation and select who's going to say 
or who is going to express the wish? Okay. Um, the situation could be um, I play basketball um, just on Saturday. One more time. I play basketball just on Saturday. Okay. Who are you going to select? I play I play basketball just on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh Edwin. Tamayo. Okay. Okay. Um I wish I wish to play basketball uh, every day. No. I play basketball just on Saturday. Okay, um, uh, change that sentence, Carlos. I wish, I'm sorry, I play basketball just on Saturdays. What would be the right sentence? I wish I played basketball uh, more days or mm -hmm. twice a week, thrice a week, twice a week. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, let me give you one. A situation, Edwin. Let's see. I won't go to the United States this coming vacation. What will be your wish? Um, I wish to um, repeat the question. I. No, that's not a question. That's a situation. Uh, situation. Situation is here. Uh huh. I won't go to the United States this coming vacation. I wish to. I wish to go. Um, United States vacation. No, tenés tenés acceso a la imagen que envié en el en el WhatsApp porque está mezclando sí. todo. Ana, eh, turn your microphones off. Uh, Edgar, if I say I won't go, I won't go to the United States this coming vacation, what would be your wish? That's my situation. I won't go to the United States, or this is the situation. I won't go to the United States this coming vacation. Mm. Uh huh. I wish mm -hmm. um, what is the the simple past in the the wish mm -hmm. and I don't remember it. Dos cosas, no o no estamos viendo el WhatsApp o no estamos escuchando las clases. Eso es bien importante, es uno de los temas bien importantes que ustedes lo sepan. Uno, porque van a completar la plataforma. Y dos, porque cuando estén hablando con alguna persona eh, extranjera, no van a estar como... Mm, mm, porque para ellos les va a parecer como aburrido, ¿verdad? Porque van a decir, ah, él no, no puede todavía inglés. Sin embargo, algunos son bien comprensivos y dicen, ok, le voy a ayudar. Pero eh, si estamos aprendiendo inglés, hay que ponerlo en práctica y, y esta es una de las actividades en que usted puede expresar su conocimiento. Ok. Ok. All right. Teacher, may I try? All right. If I say, I won't go to the United States this coming vacation, that's the situation. What will be your wish? I wish I would go to the United States. I wish I would go. I wish I would save. Uh, or I would have enough money to go. Mm -hmm. Or I wish I would I would buy the tickets on time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Maria, the situation. I can't play the piano. What's your wish? I can't play the piano. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. Have a more time for practice. 
I wish I could have more time to practice. Okay, excellent. Great job, Aplaus. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. The last one, Oscar. Um, Campero chicken is very expensive. Campero chicken is very expensive. That's the situation. What would be the wish? I wish Campero chicken it were cheap. What? I wish Campero chicken it were cheap. Or I... is it expensive? Okay. I wish it weren't expensive. Were it expensive. weren't. It weren't, obviously. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or it were cheaper. I wish it were cheaper. Okay. Luis, well, Andrea, and Edgar, turn your cameras on, please. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen because we need to continue with the midterm. All right. I'm going to try to take advantage of the time. Once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. I believe it's loading right now. We can see it. Okay. It says, instructions, listen to the conversation, share the correct answers. But I don't see the MP3. Yeah, right. Mm, okay. You can go it's not in good shape. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to just select the, the best options. We're not going to complicate ourselves. Oscar, I'm sorry. Carlos, number one, select the best option. Oh, but in this case, we need it. I mean, I, we, I, we I heard, I heard in the, in the afternoon mm -hmm. and the answer is San Francisco. The answer was San Francisco. Of the audio. Okay, who has the number two? Carol used to what? R read comic books. Read comic books. Okay. And who has the answer for number three? I have all teacher. <laughs> oh, really? That's great. I'm, I'm on fire right now. <laughs> great. Awesome. That's I'm the attitude. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, the number three is isn't enough parking downtown. According to Helen, there isn't enough parking downtown. And the last one. Give us the last one then. Call in a, a phone number. Okay, but complete a sentence. Don't be lazy. Anna. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you always catch me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Anna can join a carpool by uh calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Okay. All right. There you have the answer. And great. 100. Awesome. Now let's move forward. The midterm. Use the past tense, it says. So, Vicente, complete the first one. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Where, 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 where were I born? Or is in the, in the third person? Uh, second person. Second person. Ah, okay. Where? Where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. The third, Thank you. third option. Third. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, Oscar, continue with the next sentence. Uh, sentence number two. The, he study French in high school. No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. The answer, did he study French?
Did he study French in high school? Okay. No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Okay, great. Uh, the next volunteer to complete the last sentence. Complete the conversation, use the past tense and make sure to not use or use capital letters when necessary. Okay, who's ready for this one? Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, when did they graduate from college? When they did they graduate? Graduate from college. Graduate from college. They graduated from college in 2010. Okay. Let's see the answer. Oh. Did they. When did they? Ah, letter T is missing. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Great job. Got it. Yes. Let's move forward. Okay, we are on fire like Carlos today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says vocabulary instructions. Choose the best word to complete the sentence. Uh let's see. Volunteers. Uh, Andrea, thank you. We need to see the options. Yes. Beach, teacher. Beach. Uh, but complete the sentence. Don't be lazy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Beach, teacher. No, I want you to complete the sentence. Uh, Read complete. Never saw me son used to go to the beach, which his friend used to go to the beach with his friends. Okay, Evelyn, number two. I need, okay. Okay, I really enjoy playing chess when I was a teenager. When I was a teenager, thank you. Number three, who's ready? Maybe snake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have a dumb, <laughs> unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. And a snake. Okay. Let's see the answers. Great. You're awesome. Thank you. Now, okay. let's see. Let's move to the next part. The next part says, complete the conversation. Use correct form of just to and verbs given. Make sure you use correct capitalization when need and don't use it whenever it's not necessary. Okay, so let's see who's ready for this example. The first one, Vicente. Okay, uh, did you use play soccer when you were a child? Did you use to? Did you used to play soccer when you were a child? Thank you. Uh, Evelyn, continue. Yes, I used to play soccer every day after school. I used to play soccer every day after school. Thank you. Next, who is ready for the next next example? Maria Jose. And what thing did you use to collect? Did you use to collect? Uh-huh. All right. And the last one. Let's listen to Edwin. Oh. I never um, anything when I was a kid, but now I call it postcard. Okay, um, uh, one more time. Just select the, the okay. option. 
Oh, I never call it anything when I was a kid, but now I call it podcast. All right. Uh, what okay. option will you choose? Um, number one. Mm, no. Mm -mm. What's the the best option, guys? Number two. Number two. Who said collective. number two? Three. Three. Uh -huh. Collective. Yep. Oh, I never collected. Why? Because collective in is in the it's past. In past. And the pronunciation right. is eat. Collective. Eat. collective. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, but now I collect postcards. Okay. Let's see the answers. All right. Yay. 100. Okay. Excellent. Let's complete the next one. And then we're going to leave two exercises at the end of the class. And it says, instructions, put the words in correct order to make sentence. Okay, you have, much too is the, is there pollution? Okay, that's the word, I mean the sentence, and you need to put it in order. There is too much pollution. That's the right answer. Is it clear? So you, basically you need to unscramble the sentence. And it says, unscramble the sentence, then choose the best way to write sentences. Okay. Uh, who's ready for the first one? It says, fewer should noise there, less be cars and, but you need to put it in order. Me teacher. Uh-huh. The number three, there should be fewer cars and less noise. Noisy. Noisy. Okay. Less noise in this case. All right. And the last one. Unscramble the sentence that should the best way to write sentences. It says, lanes should more we bicycle have. What would be the right sentence? Okay. Uh-huh. We should, we should have more bicycles, lanes. <laughs> We should have more bicycle lanes, okay? Thank you. And the last one, pollution is much there to air. What would be the right answer? There is too much air pollution. There is too much too much air pollution air pollution okay let's see the answer excellent great 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 job all right now i was about to show you something ah okay yeah related to wishes to review the topic guys you have been doing great okay and yesterday yesterday we were uh, watching some i mean we were watching a video related to this specific topic they gave us some examples some rules that we need to follow related to expressing wishes if you if you see here okay if you see, uh, this was basically the the explanation, and I was able to take to take that a screenshot. Sorry about that. Okay, I was able to take uh, this a screenshot over here, but I want to move it here. All right, this was basically the formulas, okay? Or the explanation that we were uh, watching on the video. So here you have the simple present, okay? And the simple present plus the simple past, okay? This is the situation. I live with my parents, that's the situation. And the wish or my wish will be, I wish 
I wish didn't live I with my parents. With my parents. I wish I became independent. Okay. I wish I had my own apartment. All right. If you I see, wish. we have the situation. Okay. And we have a wish. The wishes here. The wishes. Second structure. We have the verb to be, which is is. Okay. And the situation says, life is difficult. And the wishes we have are the following. The first one, I wish it were easier. Okay. I wish it were easier. There is something the person was mentioning about the second option, which is life is difficult or the better to be. They said that no matter if you talk, if you are talking in third person singular, or if you are using plural forms or plural nouns or plural subject pronouns, you are going to use where. Okay. Okay. All the time. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, where? Where? Okay. Always. Expressing wishes. Just expressing wishes. Okay. Okay. And we have the next situation when we use can't. Can't. Okay. The situation is, I can't move out, okay? And the wish, I wish I could move out. If you see, what is the past of can? Could. Could. Okay. All right. Be sure. Yeah. And what happened is if... Uh... The situation will be in, in no negative. In present. In, 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 in present. Mm -hmm. We can use couldn't. Uh-huh. You are going to change it. Okay. You can say, I can, I can go in bankrupt. Okay. I wish I couldn't uh, had too many legal problems. I wish I couldn't have too many legal problems. Okay? okay. Do you know what the meaning of bankrupt is? No, not teacher. Sure. Bankrupt, okay. como en bancarrota. Oh, bankrupt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bankrupt. Bankrupt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And you also had the, the next situation over here. Um, my parents won't stop worrying about me what is the past of i mean what is the the this contraction what this contraction means in your word in your own words will not no will not will not exactly will not that's the negative of will yeah. will not okay so, instead of saying, will not, okay, you are going to say want, what? which is that contraction, will not, all right, and uh, the wish is going to be with would, okay, so when you see the simple future, you're going to change it to would. If, okay. if the situation is positive, like the answer you asked before, my parents will worry about me. So the wish is going to be changed to negative form. I wish they wouldn't, okay? I wish they wouldn't. But in this case, it says, my parents won't stop worrying about me. And I wish, I wish but they would stop worrying about me. 
-hmm. It could be uh, positive. Okay, if the situation is positive, you are going to change it to negative. To negative, right. Mm -hmm. okay. If the situation, like in this case, is negative, mm -hmm. the wish changes to positive. Okay. Is it clear? Clear. Okay. Your teacher. Excellent. Evelyn, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. All time when we can answer or we can change to the to the wishes is the opposite. For example, the can't can and the won't um a will will, will. want would and will wouldn't. Okay. But that that will depend also on the context. You need to be careful with that. All right. Depend of the meaning. Depend of the context. Context. But most of the time, if if it is uh, positive, you're going to change it to negative. If the situation is positive, you're going to change the wish to negative. If the situation is negative, you're going to change the wish to positive. Positive. Okay. All right. And if you see here, they were also explaining uh, the structure, right? We have subject will be you, for example. Okay. And you have the expression of wish. Okay. You wish. Mm -hmm. you, you wish. You. Repeat the subject. Wish. You wish. He. He explained. In this case, right? Explain. Explain the topic better. You wish he explained. Okay. The topic better. Explain. Explained is going to be the bird in the past. Mm -hmm. The topic better, the compliment. Explained letter A. Okay. So yes. The, here you have the first situation, second situation, third situation, and the fourth situation. Which one of those does this sentence refer to? Mm -hmm. Which one of those that this re does this sentence refers to? To what situation does this wish refers to? You wish. Uh huh. Any volunteer? Where will you put that wish? To number one, two, three, or four, Evelyn. And in this in this sentence is the number one because eh, we use the the bearing in, in the past. Excellent, great job. So this wish is going to be in the mm -hmm. number one situation. Thank you, Evelyn. An applause. Great job. Okay, now let's move to the picture I sent you because I sent you a picture on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so we said 
that there is a combination. When you have the simple present, the wish is going to be included with the subject, the subject, okay, plus wish, okay, plus simple past. Is it clear? Yes, plus wish. Plus simple past. Okay, when you have the simple present, this is going to be your formula. So if you have uh, the birth the birth to be, that's going to be subject, okay, plus wish plus where or what end. Okay. If you had okay. a simple future, you are going to include the subject plus wish, would or wouldn't, okay, and the complement. Okay, plus complement. Let's type it over here. Plus complement. And if you have can or can't, that's going to be the situation with can or can't. You will have subject plus wish plus good plus complement. Questions so far? Or is that clear? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. About the second one, the verb to be. Mm -hmm. uh, could be to where instead, excuse me, was uh, like where? No, never. No, ever. only only where. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it doesn't matter that is the, the first person. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, okay. Let me okay. explain you something. Okay. I, you. Mm -hmm. We and they. We and they. Mm -hmm. Those are the uh, subject pronouns that we use with where. Okay. Thank Normally, you. Normally, right? Okay. If we talk about in the simple past, the past, the past of the bird to be is where where for mm -hmm. plural forms, I, you, we, and they. For singular forms, he, she, and it, we use was. But that's when we talk about the simple past of bird to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we write those normal sentences, like I was at work, uh, she was in the hospital, okay? They were at the bus station, but that's when you uh, write the past of the birth to be. But in this case, we are not writing the past of the birth to be as normal sentences. We are expressing Mm -hmm. wishes and that's the reason why you are going to use where no matter if you are using i you we and they and mm -hmm. no matter if you are using he she and it okay Thank was you. doesn't exist here mm -hmm. is that clear yeah Brilliant. thank you so much you're welcome okay now, let me go ahead and show you some situations and I want you to mix them. You're going to learn something new today because on the book or on the platform, they didn't explain um, one of the, the examples I was able to find online. All right, and let's move to the next uh, PowerPoint. 
it says match the true statements or situations. I want you to think about that and I'm going to give you some seconds. I'm going to give you one minute, okay? To think about that. And once you have them on the notebooks or at least on your, on your brains, we're going to mix them. Okay, one minute. You have just 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to drink water because I have my mouth so dry. Mm -hmm. Don't drink a beer, teacher. <laughs> just a coffee. Just, just on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From, to, from tomorrow and where? Okay. <laughs> tomorrow works. Okay. Okay. So I was able to drink my water. And... Let's see. I'm going to select some of you because previously you were participating, but in this time I want to select some of you. Let me see who's going to be the first victim. Select the victim. Yes. <laughs> Sarai Trejos, you are the first one. Mm -hmm. So, there you have the first situation. Okay. Where will you put the first situation? The situation my teacher will keep us homework today. Okay. And the answer at least I wish he couldn't give us. Carlos, don't give her the answer. <laughs> Okay, so my teacher will give us homework today. I wish he wouldn't give us homework. Thank you. Now, Carlos, go. Okay. I can see that you want to participate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I was with the... <laughs> okay. Uh, you have to sit an exam tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish we could sit the exam next week. I wish we could to see the Let's exam see. next week okay why because here on this example the sentence is with the simple future that's what i say if the situation is in positive form okay so mm -hmm. the wish is going to change to change or negative negative. Mm -hmm. negative and this part you have the simple present which is in the present form, okay? However, like I said, that is going to depend on the situation. Look at this. This is in oh. the uh, uh, positive form, okay? Mm -hmm. It says, you have to see it on exam tomorrow. I wish we could see the exam next week. But the structure or the, the combination, the combinations don't change at all. So you have simple future and would. Okay, simple present and simple past because the past of can is good. And this one is obviously the match of the third one, right? If you see, it is going to snow tonight. Mm -hmm. Look at this example. All right. There you have positive form is going to. Sorry, let me erase this one. So you have is going to, the bird to be. Okay. And look at the structure. If you have bird to be, in the a positive form where weren't. it's going negative. to change to weren't negative okay it is going to snow tonight i wish 
it wouldn't snow this evening. Like I said, here you have the subject it, but it doesn't mean that we're going to say it wasn't. We're going to say it wouldn't. It were. Yeah. Is it clear? Just clear. Clear. Easy? Clear. Difficult? It's normal. <laughs> okay. It's, he says it's normal. Okay. Normal. <laughs> normal grammar. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and stop this presentation that I was able to create yesterday for you, of course. And we're going to complete the platform because remember that then you're going to complete it on your own. Okay. We have just two exercises. Indirect questions, easy. So it says instructions, write indirect questions. What is the Empire State Building? That's the first example, right? Where is the Empire State Building? In the question, do you know where the Empire State Building is? All right. On the direct question, you have is at the beginning, but the indirect question has the verb at to the be end. at the end. At the end. The, like mm -hmm. we explained, all right? So Vicente, help us with the first example. Uh, where is the nearest restaurant? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, do you know where the rest, the, the nearest restaurant is? Excellent. Great. Okay. Uh, Maria Jose, number two. How much do newspapers cost? It's the number three. Will you tell me how much newspaper costs? Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I need to select somebody else. Oscar, number three. What is the best bookstore in town? I have I'm sorry. Do you know where is the best bookstore in town? No. Um, do you know where the best bookstore in town is? Do you know where the best bookstore in town is? Yes. Luis, continue. What time do the bank do the banks close? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what time to close the ban? Mm, no. Oh, no, no, no. Is is the is the first the first? Uh, can you tell Can you tell me what time the ban close? The banks close. Okay, let's see. Let's check the answers. Great. An applause for everybody. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. And let's move to the next section, the last one. Reading comprehension. It says instructions. Read the article and answer the questions related to it. Okay, Carlos. Go with the first paragraph, please. And the rest of you, pay attention and take notes. Okay. The sea, the seaway. Mm -hmm. Then came, then came, came in, is an inventor. He and his team developed the developed. seaway human, developed the seaway human transporter, HT. Transporter. Transporter HT and batteries power. Two wheels electric transportation device mm -hmm. with a price uh, 3,995. It costs less than a car. 
is easier to ride than a motorcycle and use less space than a bicycle, than a bicycle. And it's easy to operate. Stand on the platform, lean forward to move ahead, lean back to stop or move backward and twist the left handle to turn. To go faster, lean forward and little more. Some people compare it to ice skating because it's moved so quietly and turns so smoothly. 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 Okay. Then uh, continue, Vicente, with the last part. Okay, good. The subway HT weighs 32 kilograms, mm -hmm. 70 pounds, and can fit it the truck of most cars, mm -hmm. full chain charging. charging the battery pack for four to six hours allow you to ride as may, many as 16 kilometers, 10 miles. Thank you, Oscar. Also, okay. Also, it can only hold one passenger for 100 uh, to 100 pounds. The subway HP is a great way to get around or to or do run. In most cities, it can go wherever people walk, go or ride bike. Okay, the continue. Subway, mm -hmm. Thanks. The subway is an environmentally friendly and energy efficient machine. Efficient, efficient, efficient machine of the 21st century. Wouldn't it be fun to have one? Wouldn't it be fun to have one? Okay. Wouldn't be fun to have one? Okay, then it says reading and comprehension. The number one, who's ready for the number one? <clears throat> Volunteers. Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you. In okay. case invent, invent the subway HP. Dean Kamen invented the subway HT. Okay, next. Me, teacher. Number two, the Seaway HT is cheaper than buying a car. Thank you. Who's ready for the number three? Raise your hands if you want to participate. The first one can go wherever people drive cars? No. Mm. We're going to see. Oh, no, no, excuse me. The number three. Continue with the number, the number three. Number three, uh huh. Mm -hmm. This new transportation device, uh huh. Uh, goes 16 miles per hour. Miles per hour, okay. And the last one. Who's ready for the last one? Replace bicycle. Don't be lazy. <laughs> Sorry. Complete the sentence. Sorry, my platform. Okay. Uh, sorry, teacher. I can see the. Okay. <laughs> this is. The subway HT could replace a bicycle. Okay. The Segway. Segway. The Segway. Okay. Let's see the answer. It's... Okay, that is one mistake. Oh, my spada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number three, the new transportation device charges in four to six hours or weights 100, 200 pounds? Weight 100. Charge in four to six hours, teacher. Rechargers in Recharge. four to six hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Great job. All right, we completed the platform. 
And that's going to be your turn, guys, to complete it either today You're or right. tomorrow, okay, at midnight. Now, before letting you go, I want you just to ask a review to tell me one situation and one wish at the same time. You are not going to choose anybody. I'm going to just say the situation and I mean, I'm going to just give you the structure. Like for example, simple present, simple future, can't, and birth to be. Okay? The first victim is going to be uh, Maria Jose. And the structure is going to be birth to be. Okay, let's listen to Sarai Trejos. Sarai Trejos, your structure is going to be simple future. I will um, go to the cinema tomorrow. Okay. That's your situation, and what's the wish? I wish. Um, I wish we'll we'll have uh, the money to pay the ticket. I would have. Okay, would have. Carlos. The situation, simple. I mean, the structure, simple present. Simple present. Um, uh, I see, I see my family only the weekends. Only weekends, uh huh. Only weekends. And the wish is, I wish I, um, I wear um I weren't uh work too much to see them. I didn't work. I didn't work too much. Too much, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Anna. The structure can't. Well, can um I can um I can I can um no 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 the movie uh -huh. I can go to the movies mm -hmm at friday okay on friday mm -hmm. and i wish i couldn't mm -hmm. go to the movies on um, today i can mm -hmm. i wish i couldn't go to the movies today but it doesn't make sense no tiene sentido okay you can say, I can't go, I can't go to the movies on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish I couldn't. I wish I could go could. today. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wish I could. Uh -huh. I wish I could Easter, go today. Easter, no. uh -huh. Today. Vaya, recuerden completar la plataforma. No les voy a quitar uh -huh. más de su tiempo porque algunos no han cenado y algunos se van a quedar completándola. Ok, recuerden que mañana no hay clase. Completen la plataforma, el midterm también, no se lo voy a olvidar. And see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Nice weekend. Night. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.